some noodles cooking, I'm actually going to be making some somen salad, which is a Japanese cold noodle salad. It requires a lot of prep work and cutting the carrots and cucumbers and things like that. So what better device to use than the Rapid Pet mandolin? As you can see, Jackson is asleep here. <laughs> all right, so everything's all washed and ready to go. I'm gonna get some carrots and cucumbers to cut. Hi, Harley. Excuse me. Thank you. And carrots and cucumbers. All right. We have a very small kitchen. I'm just going to stick those in there for now. Take out some carrots. I'm going to peel them and, well, I'm going to wash them and peel them and get them ready. Uh, you can see she has an audience. They've uh, decided that they want to wash her. They also get some carrots, too. That's why they're here. I think three should... No, two should be fine for now. I'll just do that. never played with this before. I want the carrots to be julienne style. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to happen with this rapid prep. I'll probably just stick it in and see what happens, I guess. We'll do that. All right. So, I mean, I'm not going to try to push that down. Let's maybe do this. Wash it off. Five second rule. There we go. Okay. Let's hope that stays in line. And I've got my dial show you guys, set to do skinny sticks. And I've got it set to one because I want them to be really small. We'll see what happens. got my carrot in here all ready to go I've got my pusher and I'm just oh look at that this is really easy I'm not pushing that hard at all on either end That's all she wrote. One for me, one for my girls. There we go. Wow, that worked out really well. They're a little smaller than I usually had cut them, but I'm okay with that. This will work. This is actually pretty awesome. All right, let's do the other carrot. Mm, I'll hold it for a little bit. Probably shouldn't do it this way. Is that one of those do as I say, don't do as I do? Yeah, pretty much. Do what I say, don't do what I do. Whoa, whoa, okay. I want it to stay upright, which is a little hard with the carrot because it's kind of a weird shape. Maybe we could do that. We're just gonna cut it, see what happens. Oh, they're like fat sticks. Oh, well, I guess it kind of really worked. Sure, why not? All right. That worked really well. I'm gonna do the other carrot stick. We're gonna cut that in half so I don't do a no no again. Got it. 
So I guess the one hard part about cutting a carrot is it doesn't like to stay in one direction. It likes to move. So I don't know. It still works. I'm just going to cut it. Okay, so I'm probably getting it stuck by putting it lengthwise. So let's see if it'll cut it like that. There we go. That's better. Woo! That actually makes longer sticks. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, this thing is freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, it's way too much fun. All right, and we, here we have all of our carrots, all in one spot. Just gonna use one. I think that's all we probably need. Did they seriously individually wrap them too? These are from Costco. I've never bought cucumbers from Costco before, so this is new. How are you supposed to open this? Thank you, honey. <laughs> Whoops. You don't want any plastic with your noodles. Not fun. Okay. Oh, it's so big. There we go. All right. Excuse me, Quinn. Thank you. Okay, I guess we're just gonna peel this sucker. So I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with the carrots, cause why the heck not? I wonder if I could just measure it. Okay, that was a little close. I guess that <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Oh well, that's okay. We'll figure it out. Oh. So it's oh yeah, see, nice little bitty sticks of cucumber. This is freaking awesome. I love my mandolin. Okay, making sure I'm not waking up the little man with all this pounding. Just like that, probably half an hour's worth of cutting and grumbling and all that fun stuff is reduced down to what? Five, 10 minutes, something like that. All right, so we have our cucumbers and our carrots cut. And then I need to make some eggs. Oh, we can see if we can cut the char siu pork with this thing. Hello, I quickly scrambled five eggs and I'm gonna pour them into the pan. And we're just gonna make a big egg pancake type thing. And from that, we will cut them into strips to put into the salad. As you can see, I have completely made a big mess of our entire kitchen. As Chris would say, I made the sauce. If you've ever seen the, I think it's an Apple um, commercial for which phone was it? The 12 
I don't know, one yeah. of the newer phones they have. Um, it's this guy cooking in his kitchen, making a huge mess, and the song says, I'm the sauce. I am the sauce. Who got the sauce? Okay. Cook quick. So, yeah, I made the sauce. Look at that sky with definitely not gourmet. <laughs> Even Mother Foodie can flip just like you. Yay! <laughs> it's an egg pancake. Egg pancake. We got our egg pancake. Woohoo! And our lovely pampered chef, Spatula. All right. This is too flimsy to put in the mandolin, so we're just gonna cut this the normal way. I'm gonna do. Okay, there we go. We have our eggs, our meat, our vegetables, and our noodles. So now all that's left is to put everything together. So whenever I put salads like this together, I like to layer them because it kind of helps to mix everything together. That way you're not digging for all the good stuff that's all at the bottom or at the top or, or what have you. It's just all mixed together. Spoon. And we're going to just plop it in there for now. Plop. It's a very wet sound. Okay, move over to our veggies. Just kind of, oh, look at that bright color. That's nice. Okay. And then our eggs. Just put a little bit in there. And our meat. And we just kind of rinse. <laughs> Those are gigantic. <laughs> Maybe you should cut them in half. Yeah, I should probably cut those in half. Okay. And just rinse and repeat. Plop more noodles in. Okay, and there is our somen salad. Now we gotta make the dressing for it. Okay, so I want one tablespoon of white sugar. This cup has tablespoons available, however, when it's one, it's really hard to see because it's like all the way down there and I have no idea how to tell if there's one or three or I don't know. So I'm just gonna use a traditional old measuring spoon. When you're measuring, you always wanna start with the um, solids or the dry ingredients first, and then you can reuse the spoons for liquid ingredients. That way, like if you were to use this for a liquid ingredient first and then try to get the sugar out, you'd have sugar all stuck all over the place and it just won't work. Sugar. Okay, one tablespoon of sugar. So, I need rice vinegar and soy sauce. There's soy sauce. And again, because of my soy restriction, I am using this stuff. It is delicious. It's really close to soy sauce. It has a slight sweet flavor, but not very noticeable. Rice vinegar is up here. And yes, I use a lot of rice vinegar and soy sauce. Three tablespoons of rice vinegar to measure. Need three tablespoons of soy sauce. Shake this guy up because sometimes flavor gets stuck to the bottom. I was stuck just before. Good enough. Vegetable oil, perfect. Usually it's canola oil or something else. So what did I say? Two tablespoons. We're just gonna use it. With the one tablespoon, I'm just gonna use the spoon itself. There 
we go. And there you have it. The dressing. And then if you want, you could put toasted sesame seeds in there. I don't have any, which is totally fine. And usually I think I double this recipe because that does not look like a whole lot. And stir it up, get that sugar mixed in. And that's it, Soman salad. We've got our dressing, we've got our salad. Some folks like to put the dressing, a little bit of dressing in the salad um, already and then you can put more later. Um, I go back and forth kind of depending on my mood. I'm thinking we'll keep, well actually we're we'll probably, I'm gonna put this in there because those noodles stick together. And then I'll make another batch of the dressing so that we have more to put on if we want. So we'll do that. Just gonna pour that. Oh, look at that. Yummy. There we go. There we go. And we just wanna make sure it gets in all of there. Get all those noodles and all the toppings. Oh, yes. Mama likey. There we go. Now we won't have as much of a danger of the noodles sticking together while it's stored. Oop. Here we go. All right, and there we have somen salad, one of my favorite summer salads to make. This will probably serve us for lunch for what, like three days or something like that. They all want to see you try it. You gonna try it? I'm gonna try. Oh, yeah, I can try it. Should I just use this spoon? Yeah, sure. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. All right. So we're gonna keep some of this, share some of it with my mother-in-law, since it's gluten-free. And there you have it. Swim and salad. Thanks for watching. Mother Foodie. I am on YouTube, if you remember this time, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, help a mother out, book some parties, uh, buy some, well, buy the mandolin because I can assure you this thing will make your life so much easier. Or buy any of the other good stuff that uh, Pampered Chef has. It's all amazing. But next time, uh, well, not next time, but we'll see you again later. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.